NVIDIA controls 90% of AI chips, raking in $45 billion a quarter, an empire no one could touch. But then a warning arrived. Grok 5 isn't just another AI model, it's Elon Musk's opening move in a fight that could upend who holds the keys to intelligence itself. Why is Jensen Huang sounding the alarm now? And what happens if his dominance unravels? The answer begins here. Jensen Huang stands at the helm of a company that defines the modern artificial intelligence era. NVIDIA's grip on the market is not theoretical. It is spelled out in numbers that make even the boldest competitors pause. Over the past quarter, NVIDIA's revenue soared to $45 billion, a figure that dwarfs the annual earnings of entire tech sectors. Their hardware now powers four out of every five artificial intelligence servers worldwide. In some segments, NVIDIA's share climbs as high as 90%, an effective monopoly on the engines of artificial intelligence. This is not just about graphics cards or gaming anymore. The world's largest language models, from OpenAI's GPT series to Google's Gemini, depend on NVIDIA's chips for both training and deployment. Every major breakthrough in generative artificial intelligence, every leap in robotics and autonomous driving is built on this foundation. The company's latest architectures, like Grace Blackwell and Volvink 72, set the pace for the entire industry. Investors, researchers, and governments alike now measure progress by how quickly they can secure more NVIDIA silicon. The result is a power balance that runs deeper than market share. When a single supplier controls the keys to intelligence at scale, every new challenger is not just a competitor, they are a potential disruptor to the very infrastructure that underpins the future. That is why any credible threat to NVIDIA's dominance is more than a headline. It is a tremor felt across the entire technology landscape. Demand for raw computational power is outpacing even the most optimistic forecasts. In less than two years, global AI workloads have multiplied far beyond what most data centers were built to handle. Language models now require not just thousands, but hundreds of thousands of top-tier GPUs. Orders that once seemed unthinkable are now routine. NVIDIA's own supply chain is stretched to the breaking point. Major players compete for each new shipment, locking in billion-dollar contracts months in advance. Elon Musk's ventures, OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic, all scramble for the same finite pool of hardware driving up prices and creating bottlenecks that ripple through the entire industry. The scale of this hunger is unprecedented. Each new model, larger and more complex than the last, devours compute at a rate that dwarfs previous generations. Training Grok 4 required tens of thousands of GPUs. Grok 5 will demand multiples of that. Just to begin, data centers are being built at a pace that would have been laughable five years ago. Entire campuses rising in months, not years, powered by gigawatts of electricity and cooled by rivers. Yet even this frantic expansion cannot keep up. Jensen Huang, usually the voice of confidence, has begun to sound a note of caution. He warns of a future where AI's appetite for compute becomes a constraint, not just a cost. The industry is approaching a wall where traditional supply models may no longer be enough. If compute demand continues to explode, the very foundations of AI progress could be at risk. The search for new paths, custom silicon, alternative architectures, and radical efficiency gains has become a race against time. Grok 5 stands apart from its predecessors and rivals through sheer scale and architectural ambition. The headline number is staggering, 6 trillion parameters, more than triple the size of Grok 4 and several times larger than what is publicly claimed for models like GPT-4 or Gemini. This is not just about brute force. Grok 5's design introduces a hybrid mixture of experts architecture, which means the model can route each query through specialized subnetworks, activating only the most relevant parts for a given task. XI engineers describe this as intelligence density per gigabyte, aiming to deliver more useful reasoning and factuality with every compute cycle. The context window is another leap forward. Grok 5 is engineered to handle up to 2 million tokens in a single prompt, enough to process entire code bases, hours of video, or massive technical documents without breaking context. 
That is an order of magnitude beyond what most current models can manage. The model is also natively multimodal, trained to understand and generate not just text, but images, video, audio, and code, with real-time data feeds built in. Unlike competitors that bolt on external tools, Grok 5's interpreters for code, web search, and audio are part of its core training. This native integration is a key difference. Performance claims are bold, but not yet independently verified. Leaked benchmarks suggest Grok 5 may have scored over 45% on the ARC AGI 2 reasoning test, well ahead of Gemini 3 Pro's 32%. On technical exams like GPQA, numbers approaching 96% accuracy have surfaced, near the range of human PhD level expertise. But these results remain unconfirmed, with no peer-reviewed studies or transparent methodology released so far. For now, Grok 5's true capabilities are measured more by the scale of its ambition than by published, reproducible results. What is clear is that building and running a model of this magnitude demands an entirely new level of computational backbone, a challenge that will define the next phase of the AI arms race. 600 million daily user interactions flow through X, forming the training backbone that powers Grok 5's evolution. This is not just a vast data set, it is a living, breathing stream of real conversations, code, images, and debates captured in real time. No other AI model has access to this kind of raw, unfiltered human data at such relentless scale. While rivals scrape the open web or license static archives, XAI's engineers have tapped directly into the pulse of global discourse. Every trending topic, every viral video, Every late-night code push, Grok 5 learns from it all, continuously. But data alone is not enough. To train a 6 trillion parameter model, XAI needed to build a computational engine on a scale that dwarfs most national supercomputers. In just a few months, their operations team assembled a GPU cluster starting with 25,000 nodes, four times larger than any competitors, according to internal disclosures. Expansion is already underway, with plans to reach hundreds of thousands of high-end units before Grok 5's public launch. The pace is almost reckless. Entire data centers rise in weeks, each packed with racks of NVIDIA's most advanced silicon, drawing gigawatts of power and cooled by industrial-scale systems. This combination, real-time data from X and a compute backbone expanding at breakneck speed, lets Grok 5 scale and adapt faster than any other model in the field. The XAI team, drawn from elite engineering backgrounds, has shown an ability to execute under impossible deadlines, turning Musk's vision into hardware reality. But as the scale rockets upward, a new paradox looms. The more XAI grows, the deeper its dependence on suppliers like NVIDIA becomes. The very infrastructure that enables Grok 5's rapid rise could soon become its greatest constraint. NVIDIA's relationship with Musk's companies is a study in contradictions. On one hand, XI and Tesla are among NVIDIA's largest customers. XAI alone secured a $1.08 billion order for GB200 servers, with deliveries scheduled to begin in early 2025. These are not just big numbers. They represent a direct pipeline of NVIDIA's most advanced hardware flowing into the heart of Musk's AI ambitions. At the same time, Tesla is ramping up production of its own Dojo 2 chips, aiming for high volume output by the end of 2025. The goal is clear, reduce reliance on NVIDIA's GPUs and bring more of the AI stack in-house. Yet, as of late 2025, neither XAI nor Tesla can operate at scale without NVIDIA's silicon. Every new Grok milestone or Dojo expansion draws from the same finite supply, locking supplier and customer into a tense embrace. NVIDIA profits from Musk's demand, but every shipment also brings the risk of accelerating a future rival's independence. Jensen Huang's words land with a weight that is hard to ignore. When he says this is only the beginning, it is more than a catchphrase. It is a signal that the contest over the future of AI has only just started. The industry's most powerful supplier is openly acknowledging a new force at the table. 
Musk, for his part, has suggested a 10% probability that Grok 5 could reach artificial general intelligence. That is not a forecast, it is a provocation, a challenge to every competitor, and a warning that the next leap might come sooner than anyone expects. Each Grok release is no longer just a product launch. It is a move in a high-stakes game where the rules are still being written. The balance of power is up for grabs, and nobody can say who will hold it next. Right now, the world's most powerful AI companies are both partners and rivals, shaping a future none can fully control. As Grok 5 nears reality, the lines between collaboration and competition keep blurring. The next move belongs to those who dare to redraw the map. What do you think comes next?